Yes, companies bought, companies sold, and companies just shutting the doors. Hey, oh yeah, we have talked about companies bought and sold and closing down before a couple times throughout the last year or so. I can't even remember all the companies that were bought and sold and who bought them, all that stuff. But I wanna talk about two different situations that I ran across this last week. Colonial Freight Services, CFS, a family-owned company started in like 1943 is closing down the doors. They didn't give a whole lot of information. They didn't say what they're going to do with all their people. Well, they did a little bit. But they said they're going to close down at the end of August. They said also that they are a 100% owner-operator company. And there might be some questions about that because of other things that they said. PS Logistics said that Purdy Brothers Trucking, which is part of PS, I guess, has acquired 50 tractors and like 55 or 60 lease drivers from CFS. So that tells me, I think that CFS was doing the lease to own program that all these companies have started to do. To work. So they had 50 of these guys, 50 of these trucks anyway, that were leased. So Purdy Brothers is getting those trucks those drivers and those leases. The other 200 or so trucks, owner operators that are on at, at CFS, I guess, are gonna have to find another place to lease onto. And so that's CFS. The other one I wanted to talk about is CFI, Contract Freighters Incorporated. Now, I have a little history with CFI because I drove for CFI late 80s, early 90s. One of the first OTR companies I drove for and actually one of the best companies I ever drove for. If I didn't have to be gone two, three weeks at a time, I probably would have stayed. But I got to where I wanted to be home a little more than two, three weeks to a month at, out on the road. The history of CFI is they started in 1951, I believe, in Joplin, Missouri. They stayed the same company all the way through when I was there. And then in 2007, they sold to Conway Truckload. Okay, they rebranded to Conway Truckload and stayed Conway truckload in Joplin at the same place until 2015. 2015, XBO Logistics bought the CFI sec section and rebranded them and they were XBO Logistics until 2017. And that's when TFI International, we've heard that before, bought CFI and they've owned them ever since. They rebranded them back to the original CFI branding and stayed in Joplin and they've been operating ever since as CFI, and it says on the traders, a TFI international company. Now, that'll remember TFI because that'll come back later. They Anyway, they sold CFI to Heartland Express for $525 million. They said that they're gonna keep it branded as CFI and keep the same management team at CFI, but Heartland Express is gonna own them. Now, I don't know how much influence or change that'll cause in CFI with them owning it, but it sounds like they're pretty much gonna let them keep running the way they are. So 525 million for all of CFI except their brokerage and their dedicated business. And I'm not sure how that splits up. But all CFI, and I didn't even realize until recently that CFI has drive-in and refrigerated now. So that's going to Heartland Express. If you work at Heartland or you work at CFI, you have any idea how this is going to affect things, let us know down in the comments. We want to know how things are going. But the interesting thing I thought about all this was TFI International said that the irregular route truckload business had became a really small part of their business, okay? So they go in ahead and sold that part because they didn't want the truckload business in, in, in their business anymore. And they are gonna repurpose the money, the $525 million into a couple of little things, but mostly they think they said into their US-based LTL business. And where does that sound familiar? 
TFI is the com is the company out of Canada that bought UPS Freight and it's now T Force Freight. A lot of money may be coming to you guys at T Force Freight infused into your company. Is that a good thing or bad thing? I don't know. I've heard mixed reports on how good it's been or how bad it's been since T Force became T Force. So tell me what you think about companies bought, sold, going out of business, all that kind of thing. Stick around, watch some more videos on my channel. I appreciate it. If you've subscribed already, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Keep watching the videos. We'll see you later.